Hey love, today I'm going to be doing my long requested video, which is my makeup collection and storage. You guys have been requesting this video since I joined YouTube, which was back in 2013. So you guys have been really, really requesting this video and I finally took the time out to um, try to organize my collection a little bit better and record the video. So, before we jump in, I just want to give you guys a little bit of background on my collection because we have to put out a little disclaimer so people won't like think that we're posting this video to brag or anything like that. So, my background story is um, I just recently started collecting makeup about probably a year ago. Um, around the same time I started my makeup collection. So, I mean, I started my YouTube channel. So yeah, it's been, it's been about a year. So my makeup collection is a year old. Um, I used to keep my makeup in just a regular little caboodle little thing, little travel case that you can get at like Walmart and stuff. And I thought I had so much makeup then, like you couldn't tell me nothing. But now, when I look at my collection, I'm just like, whoa, I have a lot of makeup. But... Um, collecting makeup is something that I enjoy. You have people that like to collect like baseball cards and just like coins and stuff like that. So this is what I like to collect. This is my hobby. So I don't mind um, spending money on it. I don't mind investing in it and making my storage and all that stuff cute because this is what I like to do. So you can save your little neg negative comments and all that other stuff that you guys do. You can just save it because most likely it's going to be ignored and you're going to get blocked from my channel. So just don't even waste your time. So you guys asked for it and I'm finally, finally, finally getting it done because you guys have been asking for this forever. So yeah, I want to just say thank you for supporting and stay tuned. Okay, so I'm just going to give you guys like a little overview of what my collection looks like. I just have Christmas lights hanging around. I'm probably going to add like some curtains around it to fancy it up a little bit more. I have my Alex 9 drawer unit. It came from Ikea. That's over there on the right hand side. I have my Mickey desk. It also came from Ikea. It was like $69 or $79. And I bedazzled it, but I didn't finish. And I don't plan on finishing because I'm lazy. Um, I have a chair that my mom got for me. I'm not sure where she got it from. All of my acrylic storage, um, the ones on the left hand side are from like Ross and Marshalls and stuff like that. And then the ones on the right hand side are from Muji. And then the, the mirrored container in the middle is from Marshalls. Um, the lipstick holders and stuff like that, you can find those at like TJ Maxx and stuff. And then the black brush holder is the e.l.f. brush holder and I actually got that from Marshalls. My lighting. Um, I have two like vanity lights on the sides. Those came from Walmart, I think, or Lowe's, one of them. And then I just have like a little basket down there at the bottom and I keep like stuff that I want to haul and show you guys. And then I have a trash can on the other side. My mirror that's on the wall came from Lowe's and then the mirror that's on the vanity itself came from Ross, I believe. Okay, so this is my first time ever doing a makeup collection video, so um, please bear with me. But over here, in this compartment right here, these are like my really dirty face brushes that need to be washed like right now. <laughs> and I have some e.l.f. brushes, I have um, Giuseppe, and I have Sonia Kashuk. And then in this little middle compartment right here, I just keep like lashes that I need to um wash and let them dry and reuse them because I reuse my lashes and then these lash I mean <laughs> in this compartment these brushes are my brushes that I'm currently using at the moment and they also need to be washed the majority of my brushes need to be washed so um yeah don't judge me in this video but I have like some MAC brushes these are MAC this is Real Techniques Sonia Kashuk and then these brushes right here are um Sedona Lace and if I'm breathing hard or sound like I'm breathing hard, it's because I'm like right on the camera trying to talk and reach. It's like a really awkward position if you guys could see me right now. So, yeah. So in this top drawer, I just have a bunch of new lip products. I have the new lip lava lip glosses by CoverGirl. I have all of the e.l.f. matte lip colors. 
I have some of the um, Kat Von D liquid lipsticks and then I have an e.l.f. exfoliator which is my favorite I love it in the second drawer I have a, bu a bunch of my buxom lip glosses I have the Sephora lip stains no the Sephora luster lips I have a MAC lip glass and a Stila stay all day lip stick or liquid lipstick and then in the third drawer I just have all of my buxom lip glosses this actually was a set that they had for Christmas and you got like 20 I think 20 lip glosses or something like that so that's what's in those three drawers and I have to like get some grippers so it can stay in place but yeah that's what's in the first drawers and then in these drawers these are all one part and they're just divided up like in six different um, compartments so in the first drawer I just have two Kat Von D lipsticks and a beauty supply store lipstick in this drawer I have um, a MAC lipstick, a NARS lipstick, um, LA Girl lipstick, and um, NYX lipstick. In this drawer, I just have all of my MAC like cream sheen lipsticks that came from a collection. I can't remember which collection it's from, but I just keep those in there for now. And then in here, I have the new Milani um nude lip colors not nude the new milani matte lipsticks yeah and then i have a milani lip gloss and then the last two drawers are empty in this last little compartment right here i just keep my new tartlet palette which i love it's all matte shades and it's the bomb.com like i use this almost every day i can't open it but yeah that's what it looks like and it's just gorgeous you guys so if you don't have this i definitely would recommend picking that one up And then in the second drawer, I just have my new MAC blushes in MSF. And then I have an Urban Decay um, palette in the back. And at the bottom, I have just some of my favorite MAC blushes and my MSF. And then I have a new Milani um, blush. So like I was saying, I have all of my eye brushes. I have MAC brushes, Giuseppe, Sigma, um... What is this? Smashbox, Real Techniques, Sonya Cash Look. Like, I have so many different brushes. I don't discriminate when it comes to brushes. Um, if they're good quality, I will definitely give them a try. I have my Ulta Contour Kit, and I just sit it on the side so I can remember to um, use it. And I do like it a lot. It's divided up into five different sections up top. So, like I was saying, I have Contact Solution, Eye Drops in here, Germex, Tape. I have my setting sprays back here, NYX, um, the Urban Decay, and then I have my face moisturizer, which is the Morning Burst. And then in this compartment, I have my Milk of Magnesia, Vaseline, eye makeup remover, and then I have these little things that come with uh, palettes to give you like ideas for eye looks. And then inside of here, I have like um, cotton pads. I have Q-tips in there. And then in this compartment, I have my mixture of my highlighting setting um, powder I have some different kind of primers for like my skin and stuff so we're gonna go into the drawer in this drawer I keep everything that pertains to my eyebrows and like stuff that I use to highlight and contour my face so I have my MAC palette I have MAC pencils MAC concealer MAC prep and prime I have the LA Girl Pro Conceal, a Milani Bella eyeshadow that I use to um, highlight my brow bone. I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. I have a hair store, a Nika K um, hair store eye pencil that I use on my brows sometimes. I have a MAC Paint Pot, Anastasia Dip Brow, and then I have another MAC Dip Down. And that's what's in that drawer. This drawer, I keep everything like face powders and blushes that I'm currently using at the moment. So I have like this is my um go-to MAC blush. I 
have my other one that I mix. I mix these two together to get the perfect combination. And this is for matte and sweet as cocoa. I have my MAC setting powder. I have another MAC blush that I use for a um, contour powder. I have my Becca highlight and opal that I use to highlight my skin. And then I have I have another um setting powder that I use and is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder. I really like this powder. Um, it is a little bit red for me, but I can pull it off if I don't use a lot. And that's what I keep in there. And then in the last drawer, it's fairly empty since I've um redid my organization. But I keep like everything, my everyday mascaras eyeliners um my eyelash glue yes i use hair glue i haven't had a problem with it yet um i have my tweezers this is a mac eyeliner it came out with the kelly osborne collection another mac eyeliner this is a permanent one and it's called smolder i have a urban decay um what is this the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, Shock and Extensions Mascara. I have the Bare Minerals Lash Domination. I really like this um, mascara. I have a little sample of the Tarte Lights Camera Flashes or Lashes, whatever it's called. And then I have my Too Faced Size Queen Mascara. And then I have my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And that just sits up in there because my everyday mascaras and stuff. And then over here, I just keep like um, foundation samples. I have Dior. These are Estee Lauder. This is a Chanel. And then that's the Makeup Forever. So I keep that in there. So over here, I just have all of my um, daily face brushes. I have some Sedona Lace brushes. I have MAC, um, Giuseppe, Real Techniques, and ELF. And then back here, I just keep all of my... Um, sponges like MAC sponges I have beauty blenders just random sponges back there that I use on an everyday basis then on the top here I have all of my MAC lipsticks um, this lipstick holder is from Marshalls and I keep all of my MAC lipsticks up here I do have more but I have them um, stored away somewhere else which you guys already saw those but um, once I grow that second little part I will be adding another lipstick holder for all of my MAC. I only want to hold my MAC lipsticks and lipstick holders. I'm crazy like that. But on um, this, this first drawer, this is a Muji two door. I mean, yeah, a Muji two drawer unit. And I just have them stacked on top of each other. And I have a bunch of my new MAC lip pencils and they're piled up on each other. So I have uh, two layers of those. I have the new LA Girl lip paints. I have a J-Cat and Jordana, NYX, and this is a, what is this, Ruby Kisses lip lacquer. And then in the second drawer, I just have MAC, like, limited edition lip glosses. So I have the um, Rihanna, the Simpsons. These lip glosses right here came from the Novel Romance collection. This is from a holiday collection from this past Christmas and this is from the um, Sharon Osborne collection and then this unit right here is the five drawer um, Muji and in this first container I just keep all of my lip pencils I have a lot of lip pencils I have mostly NYX I have a few MAC lip pencils um, which actually the ones at the top drawer should be up in here but I don't want to stuff it like too much, so I just keep that up there for now. I have OCC lip pencils, a couple of drugstore lip pencils. I have um, pencil sharpeners in here, a Prep and Prime by MAC, and I have a NYX like lip eraser or base, whatever you want to call it. And then in this second drawer, I keep my Milani Lip Intense Liquid Colors, my Lip Tars, some more Kat Von D liquid lipsticks, a Lorac lip gloss, and a NARS lip gloss. These aren't in any like specific order. I just have them tucked away like this. 
And then this is the only drawer that's like in a nice order. <laughs> but it is all of my NYX butter glosses. And then it goes into my soft matte lip creams. And then it goes into some of my um, NYX lip glosses that I do have. The next drawer is mostly MAC. So from here to like here is MAC. And then I have a random little Urban Decay miniature one. And then these three right here are actually fake MAC lip glosses. Um, when I say fake, it's like knockoff MAC. And I didn't know. This is like when I first started purchasing makeup. I didn't know, so I thought I was getting a really good deal on MAC makeup. But come to find out, it was fake. And I had already used it and stuff. And nothing happened, so I just kept it. Um, so I have NARS, Chanel, and then I have K-Or. And so in this last short, it's mostly drugstore um, lip glosses. I have the Maybelline Elixirs, and they actually go back to the back. Let me see if I can pull it out. Yeah, they go back to here. I have some Revlon, Elf, more Revlon. This is Maybelline, I think. Hard Candy, and then I have some Wet n Wild lip glosses over here. So now we're at the top of my Alex Now drawer unit. In the back, I just keep my bigger palettes or palettes that I reach for um, on a daily basis. So I have my MAC. I have my MAC palettes. This is my MAC Neutral palette. I have my MAC blushes. I have a Tamana palette. The Urban Decay Vice palette. Um, the Nude 2 palette, Naked 2 and Naked 3 palettes, a concealer palette, this is a BH Cosmetics palette, and then I have a MAC palette with um, only two eyeshadows in there because that's going to be my bright color eyeshadow palette. And then on top of that, I keep like my go-to jewelry. So I have a bunch of like my Betsy Johnson earrings and Juice Couture and stuff like that. The first drawer of my Alex Nandra units, right in this section, I just keep like all of my um, primers. I have the NYC Smooth Skin, the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. I have MAC Strobe Cream and Oil Control Lotion, NARS, and then I have a Clinique Moisturizer. Over here, I keep like my higher end foundations. I have Lancome, NARS, MAC, and Kat Von D. And then in this little compartment, I keep all of my cheaper, um, like the cheap concealers, like the Beauty Supply Store and NYX and stuff like that. So I have a bunch of the LA Girl Pro concealers. I have a bunch of NYX concealers. Elf, more NYX, more NYX. I have some CoverGirl in here. Just a bunch of different like drugstore concealers. Then back in this little compartment, like back up in here, I keep a bunch of drugstore foundations. Like, what is this? Maybelline, Revlon, CoverGirl, more CoverGirl, more Maybelline, and then I have some NYX tinted moisturizers and stuff like that, e.l.f. and BB creams and just all that jazz. And then back here in this little compartment back here, I have all of my higher end concealers like MAC, Makeup Forever, um, more MAC. I have a Lorac Touch Up To Go pen or whatever it's called. I have a Kevin, Kevin Akon. I have some um, liquid luster drops by MAC. And these are like more little liquid illuminators. And yeah, that's about it. And then my dividers, I actually made it myself. It's a little bit sloppy, but I made it out of foam board. And yeah, it was a lot of hard work, so I didn't really get much completed. And then in the second compartment, it is my blush and my bronzer drawer. I'm a blush hoarder. I love blush. So um, that's really what I uh, purchase a lot when it comes to makeup, blushes, and lipsticks. So this is my blush collection. I'm just going to start with half of the drawer showing. So um, in this first little compartment... In the first compartment, I just have my NARS. Mostly NARS is right here in the front. So all of these are NARS. And then I have some e.l.f. blushes. All of these are e.l.f. And then back here, I keep some sleek blushes. 
And then up here towards the front, I have a NARS multiple stick, um, a Sunbeam Benefit thing, whatever that is, a MSF and Soft and Gentle. I have some Milani blushes, matte blushes right here, um, a Betty Luminizer Illuminizer and a MAC blush, Too Faced, and some more of the Balm. And then over here in this compartment, bunch of the little NYX blushes. I have some e.l.f. blushes. This is more e.l.f. Then I have some Black Radiance blushes. These are the little Fox in a Box blushes. These are clean color blushes. They are only a dollar and they are awesome. I have a Maybelline Dream Bouncy, a little Coastal Sense sample that I still haven't tried out yet. This is a um, Benefit Lolly Tint that I still haven't tried out yet. And then I have some of the e.l.f. HD blushes over here. And then if you pull the drawer out some more, I just have all of my like bronzers and stuff back here. And it is not just perfectly organized, but I have to work with what I have. So I have some e.l.f. Um, baked highlighters and baked bronzers. I have more Black Radiance bronzers. I have a Too Faced bronzer. What is this? Urban Decay. Maybelline Master Highlight. I love these things. I have a Hard Candy bronzer. I have two Wet n Wild um, highlighters. I really like those. I have these new little shimmer sheets by e.l.f. Then I have a Lorac tantalizer and then over here is like face powders and setting powders and contour powders and all that stuff so I have my Ben Nye banana powder I have a Ben Nye camel powder a Laura Mercier setting powder I have a Kat Von D bronzer right here um I have my MAC setting powder another NYX Satin powder, a Fit Me powder, a NYC Smooth Skin powder, a matte bronzer. What is this? A Black Radiance blush and some Elf Face powders, Elf Contour blush and bronzer palette, and then I have a NARS bronzer. And that's what's in this drawer. And then in the third drawer, I just have all of my eye products. So I'm just going to start with the first half. My NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils. I have every shade, I do believe. So, um, yeah, I just keep those in this little compartment right here. Then back here, I have all of my, like, liquid, colorful eyeliners and glitter eyeliners. I have mostly NYX. I think the majority of them are in my NYX. And I have, like, a few different kind. Like, these are um, weird brands that I don't remember where I got them from. But I just have those in there. Victoria's Secret one. And yes, that's basically what's in there. I have a unique 3D fiber mascara over here. In this little compartment, I keep all of my colored um, eyeliner pencils. So I have Kat Von D, a different brand that I'm not really sure what it is. Oh, Hard Candy. City Colors. I have MAC, Sephora, just different brands in there. And then if you pull it on out, I have all of my mascaras. I have a bunch of mascaras. Um, most of these are fairly new. Uh, but yeah, I have MAC. I have the Maybelline Con. Um, what is this? Model Company, City Colors, Benefit, no, The Bomb, Be A Bombshell. I have Makeup Forever benefit they're real i have just a bunch of different um mascaras and they're like piled on top of each other so yeah that's what's in there and then back here i keep all of my black eyeliners and brown eyeliners so i have a bunch of different brands revlon sephora elf um mac just a bunch of different kind of nyx i have an nyx jungle eye pencil in black which is one of my favorites i just have a bunch of different eyeliner pencils back there and then over here in this little compartment I just have um, anything pertaining to my eyebrows so I have razors eyebrow powders like clean color else I have a benefit one back there 
have our stencils, um, pencil sharpeners. I do have some eyelash curlers and eyelash glue and stuff like that in there. I have more eyebrow pencils and that's about it, you guys. The way my boyfriend put my um, Alex Nine drawer unit up, I can like pull my drawers all the way out because I think mine actually has a defect. So I can actually pull all of them out. So yeah, that's why I'm pulling them out like that. So in this fourth drawer, I just have all of my single eyeshadow palette. I mean, single eyeshadows. So in this first compartment, I have mostly, I think all of the new NYX eyeshadows that came out last year. I have some MAC eyeshadows in here. These on the side are NYX. I have MAC pigments. I have MAC pressed pigments in here. Some more MAC um, eyeshadows and then more of the NYX eyeshadows back there. And then over here in this little section, I have most of like my cream bases and paint pots and stuff. So I have some MAC paint pots, Be A Bombshell paint pot, this is some more MAC, MAC, MAC. I have ELF, all the ELF smudge pots. I have some color tattoos at the bottom, City Colors, Avon, and then I have these NYX cream eyeshadows that I use as bases. And yeah. That's what's in there. And then if you pull the drawer out some more, in this little section I have all of my Milani Bella eyeshadows. And they are stacked on top of each other. And then at the bottom, I keep like my little Sally Girl eyeshadows, if you can see those at the bottom. And you can find those at Sally's, they're like 99 cents. And then if you come out some more, I have like all of my single palettes and quads and stuff. So I have like single Maybelline eyeshadows. So this is like one of my first eyeshadows and I love this one to death. I have L'Oreal, CoverGirl. Estee Lauder, Victoria's Secret. And that's about it on that side. And I have a bunch of these little um, clean color eyeshadows and they're pretty good. And then back here in this compartment, I just have like um, sample eyeshadow palettes. This is a Sigma one. I have some Maybelline, mostly Wet n Wild. And then I have some NYX back here. And then this one is a Wet n Wild palette that should be up here. And then this one in the back is a Revlon Photo Ready eyeshadow palette. And then over here, I just keep some that I really don't use that much, but I do use them sometimes. I have this one, and then I have the little swipe kind from L'Oreal. Then I have a Pacifica one that I actually broke the, uh, the lid on. And then I have some Bare Minerals, and I don't know what that is back there. So that's what's in this drawer. In this fifth drawer, I keep all of my smaller eyeshadow palettes. So I'm just going to close it halfway. I have my MAC palettes on top. Um, a clean color palette. This is an e.l.f. palette at the bottom down there. I have all of my primers. Urban Decay, e.l.f., Palladio, e.l.f., e.l.f., NARS, NYX, and just stuff like that up in there. Um, I have the Too Faced Natural at Night palette, an Elf Little Black Beauty Book, the Maybelline Nudes palette, I have a BH Cosmetics Hollywood palette, a Lorac palette, Chanel palette, um, and I have a few, like six I believe, of the Sleek palettes, the different ones that they offer. Um, I have a Fake MAC palette. And then I also have some little sample eyeshadow palettes. A Z palette that's empty. I still haven't filled it up yet. And then I have my newest edition, which is my um, e.l.f. palette. And that's what's in there. So in the sixth drawer, I just keep all of my loose pigments and my loose glitters. So um, right up in this area, I have all of my L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows and I have them stacked on top of each other and then I have a bunch of the little 
Shiny Cosmetics pigments, which I'm probably going to be giving away soon. And then I have some LA Colors pigments. And that's what's in there. And then over here, I have all of my... I have my Lamy and Eye Me uh, Loose Pigments. I have some Mia Makeup pigments. And all of the Lamy's are like stacked three stories. Well, three. Three on three. Or whatever it's called. <laughs> I have some Maybelline Color Tattoo pigments. Those are awesome, you guys. And towards the back, I have my glitters. I have some more Lamy glitters. And they're stacked on top of each other. A NYX glitter. Um, my MAC glitters. And then these are BH Cosmetic glitters. And then if you pull the drawer out some more, I just keep all of my dirty um, eyeshadow brushes and sponges and stuff. So this next drawer is one of my favorite drawers. It is my eyelash drawer. I have a bunch of eyelashes and I have them stacked on top of each other so they can stay um, a little bit organized. So I have Salon Perfect, Ardell, Katy Perry. I have some Kiss. And then if you pull the drawer out some more, I have um, more Kiss, some um, Asian brands, LA Splash. I have a bunch of Stardale lashes and Cherry Blossom and Cara and they're like all stacked up on top of each other. And then I have more back here. And then I have some like dramatic, more dramatic blushes. These are just more dramatic blush, brush, I mean um, eyelashes. Beauty Supply Store, Kiss, and just random ones. And then I have like all of my individual eyelashes back here. And then this last drawer, or this second to the last drawer. So um, I actually have some of them stacked on top of each other. So in this little compartment, it's like name brand or a little bit more expensive. So I have um, Too Faced, I have some Lime Prime in there. I have Sleek Makeup Forever. I have Mars. Um, I have some K-Or underneath. I have Chanel, YSL, and then the rest of them are all Milani, and they're stacked on top of each other. And then I have some samples that I have from a Sephora order. And then underneath, I just keep like another little compartment under here and I have like random lip products underneath over here I have like medicated lip balms and stuff like that so EOS baby lips lush just random stuff like that and then I have more of my um drugstore lip products I try to keep them all together so I can know what I'm looking for and stuff but yeah this is the best organization I can come up with. I have Wet n Wild over here, Revlon, Maybelline, CoverGirl, all that stuff up in there. And then I have my NYX lip products, the butter lipsticks, the macaroon lipsticks, round cases. I have matte under here and just other times that NYX produces. And then back here I have all of my squeezy tube lip glosses, the sticks like this, and then I have like the jumbo lip pencils, and those are underneath all of that under there. And then back here I just have like random lipsticks and stuff. And that's what's in this drawer. The last drawer, I just have just miscellaneous things like makeup wipes, q tips, um, cotton pads, uh, cotton balls. I have my old makeup uh, brush holder that I have, and I just keep like backup and stuff like that up in there. I have some packing tape, I have more cotton wedges, backup setting sprays. I have some alcohol in here. I have makeup brush cleansers, bags, travel bags, more makeup brush cleansers. 
my little thing that I use to clean my brushes with. Back to Mac stuff. It's just a bunch of mess in here. And that's what's in that. So in this first drawer, I actually started bedazzling it and then I got tired and I didn't start on the second drawer. So yeah, that's why it looks a little crazy. So in the first drawer, I keep all of my skincare products. Um, in this part, let me zoom out some. In this section, I just have like morning pads, like um, morning skin cleaning pads. And then I have brightening cleansers and stuff like that. Not brightening cleansers, moisturizers. Back there is empty. I have my brightening products, like my brightening glam glow eye treatments, RLC eye treatments. And then I have another brightening treatment down there. I have like hand creams, like medicated hand creams and stuff like that back here. I have all of my face masks. They go like deep down off in there, a bunch of them. And then I have, these are um cleansers, like different cleansers. I have some cleansing wipes, cleansing um acne cleansers and stuff like that. I have my Clarisonic charger and stand. And then back here, I have, um like treatments so pore control and then I have an acne treatment thing and then I have my MAC green gel cleanser a satin spray I think that's what that is and then I have some my um, Clarisonic cleanser and another face cleanser back there and that's what's in this drawer and then in the second drawer you guys I have mostly nail stuff but I do have like my clean brushes in here as well I have um a foul a callus and cuticle remover fingernail clippers let's see i have um all of these are like nail foils i think that's what they're called and i have like little loose glitters and stuff like that to put in there and these are some more of the nail foul, I mean, nail foils. And then I have some of the little art decor fingernail polishes. And then I have some fouls tucked off in there, if you guys can see. I have more nail decor. These are pearls. I have rhinestones. Most of these are just rhinestones in here. And then I have like the super glue and stuff that I use to like glue them on my nails. I have contacts up in here top coats and matte coats and all that stuff i have a makeup towel that i use to wipe all my makeup off and stuff like that some brand new beauty blenders clean sponges tweezers dotting tools and fingernail brushes and then, then i have all of my clean brushes which are um coastal scent sonia cash mac just all the same brushes that i um, spoke about earlier and that's what's in this drawer you guys so I'm just going to give you guys a little overview again of my makeup collection and I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was very, very hard for me to do, especially holding the camera and the lighting and all of that. So I hope it was presentable and yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That was like the hardest video I've ever had to record. Um, I went from trying to just leave the camera set up and trying to just show you guys and then I went to holding the camera and the light and it was just hard super hard so definitely give this video a thumbs up for my hard work because that was like the hardest video ever but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video